Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Greenhouse. Today I'm going to show you how to make a symmetrical butterfly. When you think about something that is symmetrical, you think about something that is exactly the same on both sides. A square is symmetrical. You can fold it in half and it is exactly the same on both sides. Also a heart and a butterfly. I want you to think for a minute about all the other things that you can see around the room or think about in your head that are symmetrical. What can you see that if you folded it in half, it would be exactly the same on both sides? Now I'm gonna teach you how to make the symmetrical butterfly. What you're gonna need for this is a blank piece of white paper. You're gonna need a black crayon you're going to need some other colors for coloring in your butterfly. And you are going to need a pencil. All right, let's get started with our symmetrical butterfly. First, I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half. This piece of paper is a rectangle and it is symmetrical because it is exactly the same on both sides. The way I fold this paper in half is I fold it together, line it up, as best I can, press to the middle of the fold, and then push out towards the edges. Boys and girls, paper folding is hard and it takes practice, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't look right the first time. You can try again or just go with it and get better at it down the line. Okay, we're going to draw half of our butterfly on this side of the paper, only half. Do not draw anything at all on this side of the paper. Using my black crayon, I'm going to start by drawing a long, skinny, stretched out half of an oval. It's like half of a hot dog. It kind of looks like a backward C that's been really stretched out. That's going to be the body of my butterfly. Right now it's just half of the body. I'm going to draw that right on the fold. You see how I drew that right on that fold line? Draw that right on the fold. Now for the wings. Think about a letter B. A big letter B or a capital letter B. Sometimes it helps to draw it with your finger a few times just so you can get the idea of where you want those lines to go. I'm going to do it one more time with my finger. I'm going to come all the way out to the edge of this paper, loop back around to the body of the butterfly, back out to the edge of the paper, back around to the body of the butterfly. Let's try it now with our crayon. Up and down. Up. That looks great. Now, if you haven't pressed really hard with your crayon, you might wanna go back and go over all of this again. It's gonna be important that we've pressed hard with our crayon to make this technique work. Okay. One more thing I can do is add a few details to this side. Notice, guys, I still haven't drawn anything on this side. I'm going to add one antenna, maybe some designs or some details inside the wing. All right, I'm really happy with this. Now we're going to transfer the crayon from here over to here. So it's exactly symmetrical. We do this with a pencil. So go ahead and put your black crayon down, grab your pencil. What I want you to do is close this. Hey, and boys and girls, remember, if I'm moving too fast for you, you can always pause the video, catch up, and then come back and unpause and keep going with me. Or you can rewind the video if you need to. Okay, so don't get discouraged if you get behind. Just pause the video. All right, I'm going to close this up. I can see 
the black lines through my paper. I want to be looking at the back of this artwork, the back of it. I don't want to close it this way. If I close it this way, I can't see anything. I'm looking at the wrong side. If you close it up and you're like, wow, I cannot see that butterfly, you're looking at the wrong side. So make sure you're looking at the back of this side. See how much easier it is to see that in there? There it is. Okay. I'm going to press, press, press really hard with my pencil on the back of the crayon. Everywhere I go on the back of the crayon, I'm going to press with my pencil. Press hard. Make a nice thick line with the pencil. Can anyone imagine or make a prediction about what's happening inside our paper when we're pressing on the back of the crayon? That's right. It's transferring or printing the crayon on the opposite side of the paper to make an exact copy so that we will have a symmetrical butterfly. So I'm pressing here, I'm pressing here, I'm almost done. Make sure when you do this that you press really hard and make your lines dark and thick. For best results, go over it maybe one or two times. You don't want to leave anything untraced. Okay, I think I'm ready. Are you ready to see the magic? Here we go. Oh my gosh, it is a perfect copy. Now, if you want to, you can go back and trace over these copied lines to make the black line darker. Also, you don't have to do this with black. If you wanted the outside edge of your butterfly to be purple or blue, you could use that color too. But I recommend using a dark color. If you try to do this with something light like yellow or a pale pink, it's really hard to see it through the back. Black is a great thing to start with because that's always a nice color for an outline. So I'm just going to take my crayon, go all the way around, finish filling this in. Now I've got a perfectly symmetrical butterfly. Your job now is to take these crayons and color in your butterfly. I'm going to color in my butterfly right now. Okay, hey, I finished coloring. I used my crayons and I colored everything symmetrically also, which means I, if I colored these two circles pink, then I also colored these two circles pink. If I colored this portion of this lower wing purple, then I also colored this portion of this lower wing purple. The color also can be symmetrical. Don't forget to color in your background when you're done coloring in your butterfly. All right, have fun, get creative. Maybe after you make one of these, you could get another piece of paper and try to do a different design or something else that is symmetrical, just for fun. Okay, have a good time, stay creative. See you next time, bye.